Yes, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider sub sub subscribing to this channel and supporting this channel. Remember, it's the only way you can be updated. When you press that notification bell, you'll be updated whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. You remember, in, in now right now, Kato, we are talking about the FIFA World Cup. And please, guys, don't get terminated by my shirt. This is the Brazil national team. It's one of my teams that I have been supporting for so long. So I got this jersey straight away from ja from brazil uh this one family that's just got the family on what you call the tiktok and they sent this jersey uh straight from brazil to Qatar here specifically for me and uh, thank you so much katarina family uh the karina fano the pedro family please thank you so much from brazil you are living in rio janel and this is what you had to give me i got the gift and i have to show you that i'm putting on the gift thank you so much can you imagine guys just on the tiktok updates i talked about brazil and someone was very happy and sent this for me straight from brazil imagine all the way from brazil to Qatar. i've not paid anything and this is what i have we are talking about the fifa world cup Qatar. thank you so much in today's video we are going to talk about um, uh, the top secrets to live in Qatar. you know we all have we all look at the opportunities to come and uh, we always wish to come to these Gulf countries. But what are the top secrets? Yes, what are some of those top secrets that are going to make you live in this country or live in these Gulf countries amicably, safe, and such that you don't have to regret your being in this country? This is what we want to talk about. And these are my top secrets. secrets. Uh, these are my top secrets that I want to share with you guys, especially for people who are newcomers and you are coming to this Gulf country, which is Qatar. One, one of the secrets I'll keep, I'll let you know, is that uh, you, you need to choose your circle of friends very carefully. Choose the person you are being with. Choose the person you are interacting with. Choose the person you are sharing is going to save you a lot in one or the other. If you choose a very bad circle, then definitely. Or if you choose a bad friend, then definitely. They are no longer going to advise you in one or the other. Choose people that you can get advice from or people who are better than you that are willing to help you out. Because we are here to help one another at the end of it all. Don't choose someone who is going to be only talking about going to disco, going to talk about dance, is going to talk about how many girlfriends he has, is going to talk about how how, how he wishes to 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 buy to buy very 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 many cars you know you choose those person that we definitely is going to advise accordingly because you know we get to meet very people from different nationalities and we either pick some uh, good values from them or we we definitely go with the bad values in one way or the other then also something that we need to understand is that you need to think about the box think outside the box it's another uh, real secret and will make you live longer or make you be happy in Qatar and uh, such that we have exactly know that the reason that you are here think about the cause uh, the, think about uh, outside the go the box or think beyond what is holding you uh, or, 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 or on yourself or on your lap what am i trying to say that sometimes we get to this opportunity like for example I was giving an example of the cleaner some people get to despise what we call the cleaning jobs but when you get to analyze to expand what the cleaning job uh, is that it has a lot of opportunities aside let's say for example you one person that is working at a clerk as a cleaner in a hotel remember if you really upgrade maybe for example you take up a course you can be a, a, a team leader which is housekeeping a tenant a team leader from the team leader you can be a team manager from the te team supervisor to a team manager until to a senior te team so uh, a, a senior team housekeeping team leader or manager in one way or the other so meaning that much of this most of these opportunities that we have is are there for us uh, good enough here in Qatar for you to take up in the course you don't need anything all you need is you need what you call your SS permit or what you call the Qatar you can take up some courses we we'll definitely take up some courses for that kind of matter they are going to help you in one way or the other to advance or to build more on your career in one way or the other even if when you get to interview or go somewhere they will definitely ask you uh, that what are your qualifications what proves that you can you can work in there 
what proves that you can be able to live in this and do that so probably you should think about the cost uh, think about the boxes if you if you really have some cost that you can take it take it and advance and advance yourself in the next level then something also I need to share with you is that account for your money. Every single money or every single coin that is spent should be accounted for uh, for you to make sure that you can also fulfill your dreams or fulfill your aspiration or your long-term plans in one way or the other. Uh, for a family, yes, fine. We need to give the people family. We need to give them, but make sure you give professionally, uh, proportionally to something that you can account for and not just to go and spend anyone because you also have aspiration and yes, the families are there. They will love you when you don't have and they will love you when you have and they will talk about you when you don't have and they will still talk about you when you have so it's better you plan for your family either if you have the kids you better plan for them seriously in one way or the other such that you can be able to know that my targets are being achieved in one way or the other then something i need to share with you is that another uh, tip is that uh, invest your money uh, not invest your money not in the pockets or not in the bank because remember when we put that money in the bank it's normally the banks that benefit out of us because they'll keep on lending them we call it credit creation they'll be uh, giving out credit or giving out loans to other people then they'll be getting interest out of us and yet for us as individual we are not making profits out of that money and sometimes also uh, you you need to get those projects that can you can invest in your money and you know uh, my money is there at whatever take I need to get my money I just need to sell this project I will just take off this then probably and I'll uh, I'll have the money back. We look at this most of the time. We call these projects self liquidating projects. We call them the liquidating or self liquidating or self generating. Uh, the simple terms they get to generate more money, even if it is two uh, percent of all the money that's been created, other than keeping a lot of money in the pocket. Remember, you can keep a lot of money in the pockets, you can do with it, but as time keeps on moving, we never have to go beyond what you call inflation. We find inflation that you have your whole bulge of the money but as time you kill you, you the time you plan to use that money that money cannot even do a service or can do cannot go do you that value that you expected to do so probably it becomes a little bit very tactical and little in that way or the other then the last one that i have to let you know is that for you to survive or tape secrets for the newcomers that are coming here is that keep your passport safe uh, to keep your passport safe yes we cannot look at the companies the companies will take your passport for the first time the company will take your passport to do your fingerprints to do your medical then to get your QID but remember when your QID is being delivered to you please keep your passport safe away from you because we never have to trust everyone that is living around us or people living around us you never know who is your enemy on the next door and you may find someone May, may get hold of your passport, do something bad to hold of your passport, and you may end up regretting for the rest of your life. So those are some of the tactical tips that I wanted to share. I wanted to share with you guys who are coming to Qatar, and if it's your first time to come to this country, please take them in consideration. Yes, for us we made mistakes. We made mistakes before we came. We did not know such kind of things. And this scenario, as we get to share this one, we don't want you to make the same mistakes uh, that we did. We want you to move, prosper, and such. A that every single time that is paid is being calculated for and it will give you what you call good yields. Thank you so much for coming back. It's next for the next question. See you again in the next video.